Well, many of us have been watching with fascination the GameStop, Reddit, Wall Street situation over the past yeah. few weeks. And it's a bigger story than just GameStop. Uh, it seems like it's leading to bigger changes in the financial markets and maybe even in society. So with me to talk a little bit about this is Nick Nicholson, uh, the CEO and founder of SecureX, and also Sean Brizendine, who is blockchain director at SecureX. And just kind of your advisor to a lot of blockchain companies and really an expert in the field, Sean. So I wanted to, because when I was watching this all unfold with the GameStop situation, I, I noticed the decentralization that was going on, which is a key theme of blockchain, but also just um, how things are becoming more democratized. And um, I thought you both could weigh in a little bit on that. Sean, uh, Sean, do you want to start? And like, what are your initial thoughts when you saw the GameStop situation and how it might work in the future of the economy? In regards to GameStop and the Robinhood fiasco, you know, I just want to say that, you know, we, we learned not too long ago the catastrophic dangers of naked shorting of stocks. It, it, it led to, you know, the, practically the collapse of the global financial industry through the subprime. And, you know, decentralization and decentralized current cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others, inc including their, their tokenized assets, are a way around this. And even more so in regards to Robinhood, which is a centralized exchange in the stock market, we have decentralized exchanges in crypto that aren't, you know, that they, they, they're 365 days a year, 24 seven, they roll around the clock and they don't stop and they don't have a kill switch. So the, the incentive for fairness is there already. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good points. And I mean, Nick, what are you thinking? And SecureX can really address some of these issues that we saw with GameStop, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, first of all, we are first and foremost a, um, a cryptocurrency-based play, meaning a blockchain play. SecureX is all about benevolent technologies for uh, rebirthing um, a, a variety of different institutional roles. And in the process of doing that, we have to use a fuel coin, which happens to be uh, a blockchain-based cryptocurrency. Um, our, our, the very fundamental center of our product is a um, uh, quantum-resistant decentralized trading platform that is uh, our wallet. And that's very, very important, um, <clears throat> primarily because we're already ahead of all of these different uh, problems that are starting to show up. This is a, in my mind, this is a perfectly timed example of what um, the um, the digitized, or should I say, crypto finance world um, can solve. It basically puts everyone on an even playing field and uh, and takes away all of the possibilities, as a lot of blockchain plays do, um, of any um, malevolent activity. Mm -hmm. uh, what was particularly interesting about the GameStop situation was how social media allowed them to organize. Like, I mean, we've had social media for a while, but for some reason, the stars were aligned and they were all able to communicate and they all did it. And, you know, maybe the pandemic has something to do with it. People are working from home. They have more time. A lot of them talked about they got their yeah. STEMI checks and they were putting that in the market. <laughs> and there's a new a, a increased interest in retail trading. And um, I don't imagine we'll ever go back to kind of the more centralized, you know, just a few people making the decision for everybody kind of thing. You think so, Sean? Jane, I'd like to, yeah, absolutely. I'd like to touch on that. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a great example of the power of the crowd. I mean, the, you, you, you got to see there with what went on with the, our Wall Street bets, Redditors, the, the actual power of the people. That's the revolution there. And, and, and that's, that's the way it's going to be done and, and banding together and cooperating and working together as a crowd. That's why with, with cryptocurrency and blockchains, um, they have their communities and, and you're as strong as your community. And, and, and that's a classic example right there. Yeah. And the community all kind of checks each other. Um, you know, and, and you can argue and talk things through. I mean, we've seen hedge fund people have, you know, dinners and they talk about this kind of stuff. I mean, why can't these guys meet on social media and <laughs> talk about it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want 
I wanted to touch real quick back on the SecureX wallet. That this is a biometric wallet, so there'll, there'll be no need for memorizing passwords. This will allow for a lot of people, including mom and pop, to be able to enter into the industry and be able to hold their value without worrying about losing it. You know that, that that's a big thing. Non-invasive biometrics. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's also you know it's a client side, multi-signature cryptocurrency wallet that'll include Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well, including the SecureX token. And it's just absolutely fantastic. It, it'll have an aggregator. The aggregator will allow, allow for decentralized trading. And as an example to the Robinhood situation, this, this will be a preferred way of doing things. It's time to take back our personal responsibility of our finances and 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 be in control of them 100%. So Nick, kind of walk me through this, because I imagine a lot of people are interested in, they, they want to empower themselves financially, they just don't know how. And when it comes to blockchain and things like that, they're like, God, where do I even start, you know? And then they get yeah. something else. How, I mean, simplify it like you're talking to my mom. I mean, how would you okay. even get started with something mm-hmm. like SecureX? Okay, well, that's a really great question. I, I would start with your mom by saying, um, like all new technologies, new industries, et cetera, there's going to be a lot of growth and a lot of regulation take place. So the very first thing I would say to your mom is you got to have some flexibility and some patience. SecureX is not something you can buy today. It's something we're building. Um, when it's ready, it'll be way ahead of its time. And I say that because there's some steps your mom can take now, which I would recommend to get involved with, with blockchain slash cryptocurrencies um, so that she's really much more familiar when the time comes with our product. And while I wouldn't put your whole portfolio in there, I would recommend figuring out, going through the process of picking one exchange, a cryptocurrency exchange that will link to your uh, heart, your, your sorry, your bank account. Mm-hmm. And uh, let you let your mom pull some currency into the that exchange. That exchange will probably won't be decentralized, which is one of the things we're going to change. And that exchange probably will hold your keys, um, which which means that it's not your you it's not tr- truly um, your uh, the preferred scenario when blockchain is completely rolled out, transparent and. Um, and representing the individual's best interests, you will own, you will hold your own keys to your own crypto. It will, and it'll be on your uh, thumb drive, like we're talking about with our uh, with our wallet. It's a very, very mm-hmm. unusual time right now, and you know, you, you've got to think it's it's 2021, and I'm in California in the Bay Area, and we just came off of practically. Um, close to 10 months of um, shelter in place, which is basically de facto lockdown. And if this doesn't tell you that it's time for us to take responsibility, personal responsibility of our finances, stand up, I don't know what what would tell you that. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies will allow for that. Mm -hmm. It is a hedge against a system that is not only flawed, but broken. (laughs) <laughs> I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, it feels like there's huge tectonic societal shifts that are taking place and crypto is part of it. Blockchain is part of it. I mean, I've, you know, education is part of it. Um, you know, the way we see government, I, I feel like there's some really big, I mean, it's it's very interesting to be alive right now. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, it'd be great to get your thoughts on down the road as we start to see more things develop. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Jane. Thanks, Nick and Sean.